Hi guys my name is Charles and in this video I'm going to show you the best Bluetooth speaker under $100. Bluetooth speakers are a great option for listeners who like to listen to music, podcasts, and audiobooks from their mobile devices wirelessly. Unlike speakers with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth-compatible speakers don't rely on an internet connection to stream audio, making them a bit more portable. With so many Bluetooth speakers on the market, there are lots of quality speakers available at more affordable prices. Whether you like listening to music, communicating with a voice assistant, or bringing your audio outdoors, there's a budget Bluetooth speaker that can meet your needs. Below are the links to the speakers I'll be demonstrating in the video, so without further ado let's get started. The best Bluetooth speaker under $100 that I've tested is the Ultimate Ears Wanderboom 2. It's small and lightweight, making it easy to hold in your hand. There's a small built-in strap to attach it to your bag or suspend it from a hook. It has a balanced sound profile overall, making it suitable for listening to a wide variety of audio content, and there's an outdoor modec preset that makes it sound whiter and crisper overall for when you're outside. This stereo speaker also has excellent directivity thanks to its 360-degree design, resulting in a spacious and natural-sounding soundstage. However, it, unfortunately, isn't compatible with the Ultimate Ears app, so you don't have access to more comprehensive sound customization features, like a graphic echer presets. It has an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance that certifies it to be dust-tight and submersible in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. The manufacturer even advertises that it can float in water, so it's great if you want to bring your favorite music along with you by the pool or in the shower. Its battery life also lasts up to almost 13 hours from a single charge, which is great for long days of listening spent outdoors, though this varies depending on your chosen volume levels. If you prefer having more control over your speaker's sound, check out the Anchor Soundker Flare 2. While it doesn't get as loud as the Ultimate Ears Wanderboom 2 and isn't as small, you can customize this speaker's sound to your liking, thanks to the graphic ec and presets featured in its Soundker companion app. With its bass-up feature enabled, it has a balanced mid-range that ensures vocals and lead instruments reproduce clearly and with detail in the mix, though they sound a bit veiled at times. It even supports voice assistance through your smartphone too. Like many 360-degree speakers, this stereo speaker has excellent directivity, meaning you can hear your audio clearly from most angles. It also has an IPX7 rating for water resistance that certifies it to be immersible in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes, meaning you can bring it outside with you, without needing to worry about it getting a bit wet from some light rain or dropping it in a pool of water. Looking for something more compact? The Sony SRSX-B13 is even smaller than the Ultimate Ears Wanderboom 2 and the Anchor Soundker Flare 2. It comes with a longer carrying strap than the Wanderboom 2 to help you transport it wherever you go. It's well-built, with an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance, meaning it's dust-tight and immersible in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes, so you don't need to worry about it getting wet. Also, its long-lasting battery life of over 11 hours outlasts the Flare 2's 8 hours of playtime, meaning it's less likely to die on you on your next hike. That said, it supports voice assistance through your smartphone. Its sound profile is somewhat boomy, which adds a bit of warmth to your audio. Its mid-range is also balanced, so vocals and lead instruments sound clear and present in the mix. However, due to its smaller size, it doesn't produce as deep a bass as the Flare 2, and there isn't a graphic echo or presets to customize its sound to your liking. However, while it doesn't get quite as loud, there's significantly less compression present at max volume, so the quality of your audio doesn't degrade much when you blast your favorite songs. It also has fantastic directivity, resulting in a wide and spacious sounding soundstage. If you're looking to add a smart speaker to your home for under $100, the Amazon Echo Gen 4 doesn't disappoint. It has Amazon Alexa built in and has no trouble understanding your commands from far away or in noisier settings. There's a mute mic button you can use for privacy when you no longer want it to hear you, and it's advertised to have a Zigbee hub built in, so you can use Alexa to control smart home devices like light bulbs and thermostats too. Out of the box, it has a boomy sound profile overall with a well-balanced mid-range, so vocals and lead instruments sound clear and present in the mix. You can tweak its sound to your liking using the bass and treble adjustments in its companion app. I appreciate you all guys watching this video, and I hope you've already made a decision about your speakers. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to assist you.